um, school safety heading into spring break, and have you given any thought to now that we have so many variant cases in hot zones in the Fraser Health region and, um, and, and in the lower mainland, have you given any thought to possibly starting spring break sooner, sending kids home earlier um, in places where mm. there seems to be a lot more exposures linked to variant cases? Uh, have I given any thought to it? Of course. Um, have we been consumed by worrying about these issues? Yes. Um, and we know for some school districts, uh, uh, March break starts earlier. The main uh, focus is uh, the 16th, starting uh, the week of the 16th. Um, and yes, we've been uh, speaking a lot with the school districts. Um, uh, Dr. Gustafson from my office and the BCCDC has been uh, engaging with uh, the, the schools. Um, we've been looking at Parks and Rec. We've been looking at, you know, how can we find safe places for uh, young people to to have um, activities during March break that they can socialize some more, but do it in a way that is that is safe. So we are looking at a whole lot of things. It's not an easy question. Um, timing of of when schools start and and uh, and restart and and when the break starts is all with the Ministry of Education. Um, we are also working really closely, and Fraser Health is working very closely with, particularly the Surrey School Board, the sc sorry, ugh, Surrey School District, to to look at what are the issues um, in the schools. How can we enhance, protect, um, do the things that we need in that district to address the high level of transmission in the communities that, again, as you mentioned, is reflected in the schools. Um, part of that, of course, is doing uh, extra testing around people who have are infected with these variants to make sure we can stop transmission. Even if we don't know how they um, became infected, we can ensure that we're not getting rapid takeoff. Um, that is what we're focusing on right now, focusing on where we were. Um, if you think back to March of last year, when we were talking about how important it was to do contact tracing both backwards and forwards. So um, making sure we try and understand as best we can where things are being transmitted and how and who and so that we can um, absolutely uh, ensure that we're not allowing transmission to take off. That's been our focus right now. If we look though at school breaks, where we see transmission increasing in school-aged children is when they're not in school. So that is something we need to take into account as well. So all of these um, discussions are definitely going on and we will have more to say about that in the coming days and week. I say week because it's coming up very quickly for many.